Hi, I'm Eric Jovic. I'm the Chief Product Officer and Co-Founder of Essentium Inc. We're here today to talk about our HSC printer line. I'm standing in front of the HSC HT printer, which is our high temp printer that can do everything from PCTG up to peak and all the advanced materials. This machine is the fastest extrusion printer in the world and it is not an FDM printer. It's a high speed extrusion printer. It's our process and we love to be compared to FDM printers all day long. I built this machine to meet a need that I had. I have had a 32 year career in manufacturing in some of the largest companies in the world, thousands of CNC's under our control, and I have not found the 3D printer FDM extrusion technology I wanted. I built the printer I needed to get my job done and hopefully all the manufacturing engineers in the world so they can get their job done. What's different about this machine is it has very, very simple design. There are 10 moving parts, no belts, no pulleys, no gears, all server controlled, linear motion stage X and Y, ultra high performance. It also has three Z motors, so independent Z drive control. We also have the performance we get across this entire bed, 740 millimeters a second from one side to the other in one third of a second. So at the same time, I've developed one of the best retraction systems in the world. I haven't done a retract during printing in a year and a half. I never have to do retracts. Extrusion processes like to go forward. They do not like to reverse. I do not reverse my extrusion process. In developing this machine, we focus this machine and the company on using high performance materials on the fastest extrusion print in the world to give you very strong ROI business cases. We are a production FDM style extrusion company. So we are in high speed extrusion, gives us the ability to scale into production, fixtures and tooling. And when we talk about fixtures and tooling, like most companies here today, we can save you 80% time and 80% in cost on the part. What's unique about us is we can scale. If you want one part, anyone here can do that. If you want a thousand parts, that's what we provide. So this is meant for production. You can use it for prototyping, but this is a low cost machine. These machines are not high priced. The, this, the top line machine is $115,000. And our material pricing is market pricing. We are not gouging the market. Secondly, our materials are wide ranging. So we are announcing a peak today, a reformulated peak that's brilliant. We're printing around 200 millimeters a second. This is just an early sample, but we are printing today at speeds that are an unheard of in peak printing. We're also announcing, and this is kind of a, it's a fixture build of it, but we're announcing a high temperature nylon, carbon fiber filled. Think of this as black aluminum. This has a uh, stiffness modulus of 19 gigapascals, very, very similar to 6061 aluminum. It's got extremely good Z strength, extremely good adhesion. It prints very well. It does not absorb uh, moisture like many, many nylons available today. The other thing that's nice about it is a heat deflection temperature, a little bit above 200 degrees C. So wave solder, underhood environments, this is a great material. It's not high cost. This is not peak pricing. This is a day in, day, day in, day out use material. This is a mold that we made uh, recently. Very simple mold to show our capability. Um, printed molds is something that the HTM material can do very well. If you, if you can hear that, it kind of rings like a composite. It's 25% composite. Very good thermal conductivity as well. So it prints like an aluminum mold. So this one has no cooling, which is pretty amazing for a part that looks like this. It was not cooled and it printed a beautiful part, polypropylene part. We also have it in a neat version, non-carbon fiber filled. This is a great replacement for Delrin GSM on the factory floor. So if you use Delrin and want to do a printed part instead, save some money, this is a very stiff part. I mean, this is not, not carbon fiber filled, but that's really stiff. If you can break it, I'll give you a machine. So going through the machine a little bit, um, we have a dryer down below to dry material. 
the high temp machine and the S machine have that. We also are standardizing on a 15 kilogram spool because a machine with this speed, one kilogram, two kilogram, 10 kilograms does not make a lot of sense. And to support that, we have a built-in uh, thread transport system. We pull filament from the spool and we put it into a buffer and we pull from the buffer while we're printing. So we're not pulling, our extruder is not pulling from, directly from the spool. It is an open G-code printer. So we're using the same G-codes as an Ultimaker or a Prusa. It's a Marlin style G-code. Use your own slicer. Uh, any slice you want, we, we will have a slicer. It's coming from Materialize, which is brilliant. Um, it's, they have come back to the FDM market just for this machine. Um, and since it's an open G-code printer with open material, you do not have to buy our material. Um, we also have a fully open system, so you can get live data while you're printing. And with that data, you can do your own process development. If you want to use your own materials, this is a really great way. One of the things with the speed that we have, um, process development is vastly improved because it prints so fast you can make live changes and see those changes in real time while you're printing. There are many times if you do a simple small part, say, you know, the size of a, of a phone or larger, like a bracket, you design that bracket and print it, it will print faster than you can design it, which is change the paradigm in how you use this machine. So, strong engineering materials, strong industrial printer that will last years, very few moving parts with a mature range that's ever expanding. This year, we're printing a PCTG at about 400 millimeters a second. It's about 30% faster than last year. We'll be faster next year.